Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to crochet this pumpkin. It's a nice decoration that's about 9 inches wide by 9 inches in height. To do this you'll need about 100 yards of worsted weight yarn and a size G or H crochet hook. To begin, we'll start with the orange yarn, since this is the base of the pumpkin, and we'll chain 26. Skip the first chain and just make one single crochet in each stitch across. The nice thing about this pattern is it's just all single crochet stitches. At the end you'll have a total of 25 single crochet stitches. And as with regular single crochet stitches, we're just going to chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to make one single crochet in each stitch across for a total of 25 single crochet stitches on this row. As you can see, I've made a total of 72 rows for my pumpkin. This will make about a 9 inch by 9 inch pumpkin once we put the stuffing inside. Before you completely fasten off, leave about a 24 inch tail end so that you can sew the seam of the pumpkin together. Place the two shorter ends together and then use whatever sewing stitch you prefer to seam the two ends together. I do have a sewing with crochet video too if you need assistance with this step. You can see my finished seamed work on the orange part. Now we're going to work along the top part of the pumpkin, which can also be the bottom part of the pumpkin, depending upon when you are finished, which part looks nicer to you. So we take our remaining thread and weave in and out along the top edge. And I like to weave in it every six or so rows. If you weave it too closely together, the cinched part will bunch up too much on top and be a little difficult to close up properly. Once you have successfully cinched around the top, you can pull your yarn to close it just to see how it looks. And then turn it over and do the same cinching along the top edge of this side to close Close this end as well to form the pumpkin. I've decided I don't like this side too much, so this will become the bottom part of the pumpkin. I can go ahead and tightly close it. And use your yarn needle to put a couple of stitches in the pumpkin in case there is a gap or two. Turn your pumpkin over and begin stuffing it with polyester fiber. At this time I'm setting my pumpkin aside and I'm going to work on the stem with brown yarn chain 13. As always with single crochet stitches, skip the first chain and make one single crochet in each chain across. At the end you'll have a total of 12 stitches on this row. You'll make a total of 8 rows of single crochet stitches. You'll leave about an 8 inch tail end for sewing the side seam. In this case, to make the stem, we're going to sew along the longer side of the crochet piece. So fold the piece in half and use whatever sewing stitch you prefer to seam the two pieces together to form a nice stem. Once the stem part is completed, you'll want to position it into your pumpkin and shortly thereafter you'll want to cinch that orange top part of the pumpkin together. I generally use some orange yarn to secure the stem to the pumpkin and then tighten all of the strands so they don't come unraveled. Next, you'll want to get a strand of orange yarn about seven times the circumference of your pumpkin. This strand will help form the sections of the pumpkin and give it some texture. So what I like to do is on the bottom of the pumpkin, I'll make a small stitch to hold the yarn in place. And then I tie and knot it. If you just want to practice this part, just tie and don't quite knot it yet. Then I wrap it around my pumpkin and up to the stem part. I push my needle through the stem part, then wrap the strand around the other side and back to the bottom part of the pumpkin. You can see how it forms a little section. Then I take the strand again and wrap it around a different section of the pumpkin. I subdivided my pumpkin into six sections or three full wraparounds. But feel free to do yours at just four sections or do more at eight sections. And here's my pumpkin with the little sections completed. It's up to you, but if you want to add some leaves you can. You can crochet ones, which I have plenty of patterns on my website for. You can also add curly stems by wrapping a chenille stick around a marker to form the curl. And that's how I crochet a pumpkin.